Yeah. Oh, hi. This is the same with green gear. And today we're going to be reviewing a product that I never thought I'd be reviewing on a green review website. 360 Vodka. Go ahead and take a drink of that. Yesterday I was at the liquor store because it was New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's, by the way. And I saw this on the shelf and it immediately it drew my ire. 360 Vodka. Look at these little recycled logos all over this place. This is obviously greenwashing. They're putting just all these over here so that the liberals that come into the liquor store will grab this and say, oh, look at my vodka, it's green, this is great. I purchased it. I purchased it with intent. I purchased this product to rip it to shreds in my review. But Mrs. Green Gear and I, taking no task lightly, took this product and put it up against rigorous and very scientific reviewing. We compared it to a popular name brand vial of vodka, which I cannot reveal to you, except that its name rhymes with Fabsolute. And we mixed different types of drinks. We tried it straight. We tried it as a screwdriver. We tried it with very popular mix. Mr. Green Gear is not really a vodka drinker. Mr. Green Gear likes Maker's Mark. But for science, I went to drinking with this. We didn't drink a whole lot of it, as you can see. Now, I, re I researched this product and its company. And I really wanted to just find some way to just rip it to shreds because it just seems so silly, a green vodka. But, take a look at the product. From a product standpoint, the vodka tastes pretty good. Between that and Absolute, Mrs. Greenger said she'd purchase Absolute, but she's brand loyal. But she said that if anybody else were doing it, she would recommend this. It comes with a nice little swing top, piece of glass, and you know minimalist packaging and labeling. Now what makes it green? Mostly it's the packaging. Uh, the swing top attached is a little prepaid mailing envelope. You take the swing top off, you mail it back to them, they reuse them so that the plastic and steel that are used in there are not needed to be reused. The packaging is 100% post-consumer. The bottle is 70% post-consumer. 85. 85% post-consumer, and they go back and they detail all the little things that this means for him, so 82,000 gallons of water are saved per year. Um, in addition, the company that, uh, out of Missouri that makes this has green-friendly practices. Uh, the machinery they use to four times distill this or five times filter it is done in a way that saves energy compared to traditional pot distilling. So, despite my best intentions, I really can't come on here and rip it apart. Uh, at the liquor store, this was $18.95, which is $3 less than Absolute. Um, in addition, for a limited time only, uh, if you send this in, I'll send you 10 bucks. So I just got an $8 bottle of vodka, if I ever actually send that in. Um, I don't know. I think it's well designed. I think it's well priced. And I think that it comes to us with a fixed benefit of being recycled. So. Using our criteria, we have to give it three out of five gears. I really wanted to give it one, but I think that if you're out there and you're not overly brand loyal, or you're brand loyal but looking, go ahead and try 360 Vodka. Uh, I think you'll like it, and uh, Happy New Year. Go ahead and post comments, and thanks for visiting.